afternoon, everyone. Fish is a healthy and delectable source of food that is popularly consumed locally and even globally. Fish provides excellent nutritional values such as high quality protein and a vast range of vitamins and minerals. However, the growing global demand for fish supply has now outstripped the sustainable yield of the seas. And with an increasing demand for food fish, along with the depleting supply of marine harvested fish, food fish industries are now shifting their focus to aquaculture production. Pathogen infections are one of the biggest problems in aquaculture, whereby a disease outbreak will affect both productivity and fish quality. Antibiotics are frequently used to combat bacterial infections in aquaculture, but prolonged usage could lead to antibiotic resistance, undesirable impact on the environment, and accumulation of residual antibiotics in the edible biomass. Uh, extensive use or abuse has brought about concerns about potential harmful effects that could subsequently compromise the human health. In fact, antibiotic usage is banned in the US and EU, but it has still continued to be used in developing countries. In order to move away from antibiotics, a huge impetus is provided on developing sustainable practices for uh, aquaculture pathogens. One of the strategies is the use of probiotics. Probiotics are live microorganisms which, when administered in adequate amounts, can confer a health benefit on the host. The use of probiotics in aquaculture has uh, shown to increase the growth and the immune response in fishes. Uh, another focus is now on the use of natural compounds called nutraceuticals that have a lot of uh, beneficial effects in human beings, and now this is being moved to the fishes. One of the ingredients that are of immense interest is curcumin. Curcumin is a naturally occurring compound obtained from turmeric. Past studies have shown positive effects of curcumin on aquaculture growth. In light of this, we have developed a functional feed that uses a com combinatorial approach of probiotics and curcumin. Our studies have shown that a synergistic effect exists between probiotics and curcumin that helps to decrease the concentration of curcumin required for efficacy and also increase the inhibitory effect of the probiotic itself. A functional feed containing both curcumin and probiotics could help to provide protection against infection to the fingerlings in the very early stage of growth where they are most vulnerable and the colonized probiotics thus in the gut could help to sustain the immunity in the grow out phase, protecting against future infections. We hope this functional feed could be an alternative for vaccines in the early stages of fish growth.